everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York, and I'm extremely tired. I was looking at the clock, and I said, oh my goodness, it's 7.30 or 7.15. I better get busy. It's getting late. I um, wanted to mention a channel today that, that actually mentioned me, and it was AJ's Green Topics. AJ has just made it to... 200, he's got 200, let me make it bright. He's got 215 subscribers. He made it to his 200. This is, well, I hope it shows. Whoops, I don't want it to glare. This is his ch his channel. I'll put this up there. He would love to get to 500. So, if you would like, are interested in making the world greener, in a greener way, a nicer way, and he also has the red wiggly worms, um, he shows the bins of those, the red, red wigglers, they're called. I call them wiggly worms because they do wiggle. I like worms. In fact, when I was working at the school, we'd go on our walks, and if it had rained or it was kind of a dewy morning, a lot of the worms were out on the sidewalk. And I used to stop and pick up a worm and put it in the grass because I know if it stayed on that sidewalk, pretty soon the sun was going to come and it was going to be baked, and when we went for our next walk, that would be a crispy worm instead of a nice wiggly worm. So I saved worms. And the teacher I was with, she used to get really freaked out by me touching worms. But the kids didn't seem to mind. They were interested in what I was touching. And then we used to see what we used to call them potato bugs. They're um, roly polies is what they were calling them. So I don't know what you call them, but they were like they're like the little little armored worm armored bug that when you pick it up it rolls up into a ball. Well I used to pick those up too and show the kids and if we waited long enough it would come back out from its ball and start to crawl on your hand again. So that was kind of fun for them. And um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh I lost my house key. How I lost my house key I'll never know because I don't go anywhere but I went actually did go out today. Jim forgot his lunch and so I went to his work and brought him his lunch. Then I was going to go get a haircut, not remembering that today was Monday. My daughter's shop is closed on Mondays, so I didn't get a haircut. So when I got back home, I went to go unlock the door. I didn't have a key, but because I leave it, left the back door open and I left another door open, I didn't lock everything up apparently when I left, I was able to get in the house. And so now I have the spare key, so I have to make another key. I don't know where I lost this key because I've only gone to church, to the library, and to a shower, a baby shower. Was it a baby shower? A no, it was a bridal shower. No, that was the baby, was shower. The baby shower. I went to I went to two showers, so that was the baby shower. So who knows when I lost it because if Jim is home when I come home, I don't have to use the key to get in because the door is already unlocked. So today... I had to come in a different door. So, And also, we I was talking to my daughter about the state park. She, I guess she goes down there to do some kayaking. And she was saying something about that. She was thinking about getting a pass to go in for the full year, but it was like $80, and she would never go there that many times to make the $80. If you go at random times, I think it's 6 or $7 to go. So she'd be better off with the 6 or $7. And I told her that if she takes me, she can get in for free. And because if you're over 62, I think it is. I think so. I think so. 62, any Orleans. state park, if it's not a holiday weekend. New York State Parks. New York State Parks, anyways. I don't know about the other states, but I know New York State Park. If it's a New York State Park and you're 62 or older, whether you're driving or riding, as long as you're in the car, you can go in at any time into the park for free, as long as it's not a holiday weekend. The whole like carload can? A whole, yeah, the whole carload can go in because you're in the car. <laughs> they don't have to pay. So I said, if you take me, you could go probably for free then. So maybe I'll be going with her one of these days when they go kayaking. I don't, I have never kayaked, but it should be interesting to see or at least videotape them. So. That's it for today. I hope you all had a great day. I'm roasting a little bit. This jacket is a little much. It's warm. I feel that I can feel my I can feel my mustache and my goatee. 
<laughs> my Jane or me or Maynard G. Cribs. Cribs. <laughs> Remember Maynard G. Cribs? He had a goatee. Um, anyways, I think I'm going to say goodbye. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.